Right, I've passed Little Bradley Cottage. This is Little Bradley. It's a little hamlet. There is more of it. There's a little lane that leads down into Cheddar. I'm going through the back way, skirting the wood. I'm not going to go through the wood today because I'm not quite sure of the way out actually to go towards Cheddar. I don't want to lose any time and it's it's going to be dark at four o'clock it said earlier. So one bus will just about be arriving in Cheddar and leaving. Now I'm just trying to get my mobile out. Uh, it's five past three. We've got an hour and ten minutes. But I would like to get there by at least five, ten past because just in case. Just in case. So it's a lovely day. Day. I don't know when the kids break up from school. Um, Christmas Eve is two weeks a day, so maybe they break up next week. Next Friday, maybe they break up next Friday. <sighs> Unless they're going to make them stay till the Tuesday or Wednesday. I would have thought they'd break up before then. So we're going past this little place again, hourly it's called, where they do glamping, I think. I think glamping happens here. <coughs> I've got a little bit of a hill climb to do. I'm just going to take my time. I've got loads of time. Because once I've skirted this wood, I'll be on Lynch Lane. And it'll only take, say, 20 minutes to get down into town, so... I've got loads of aspirin at home and other first aid kits. I still can't get over. I haven't topped up my my rucksack one. I find that unbelievable. To be quite honest. I thought I topped them all up the other day. I thought I topped them all up. Right, I've got the stick, I've got gloves, I've got the camera. Yeah, I've got the stick. Yeah, a month ago I left my sister stick. I don't know, actually this is um a different stick, yeah. Hold on. Let's just put it on pause a minute. Back on again. Right, Owly. I got a feeling this is a, this is probably the bit where there's the house down there. This is probably the bit where they have the possibly they have the glamping here. I think they do. They've carved out areas, flat areas. Yeah, I expect they do, but maybe they haven't done it for a couple of years because of COVID. She's got. She's had a gate put on there since her dog got trapped. Or is it further up? No, I got a feeling it was in. No, no, I think it might have been a bit further up. Yes, not here, but a similar little enclosure. One had a lady I met. Her um. Her little dog got lost. Not lost, he got trapped by his lead in a little place like that. It got caught around a branch and she had to get try and rescue him. Yeah, look, there's the toilets. Toilets and bins there, look, and then there's this area for those round huts. Y yurts. That looks like the base for a yurt there, doesn't it? How lovely, though, whoever stayed here. 
They've just got to come out and they're in the hills straight away. And not far off a cheddar either. Yeah. So here we go. We've got this lovely old pole. Cheddar. That way. Draycott. That way. That's it. So we wander up. This, we've got to go uphill a bit again. We wander up this little track. We can take our time. We'll be. I came down it last time in four weeks ago. I came down here. Now I'm going up. It doesn't. It's not hilly all the time. It's just like a little bit of a hill there, and then that's it really. Yeah, this is definitely autumn, and this is very, very calm here, very quiet. And that's a big old wood in there. I have rambled around in there before now. <sighs> Long time ago, I can't remember everything about it now. <sighs> that's what I said, I'm not doing it now, because it's, we just want to take a nice, steady, steady, steady walk back to the cheddar. Like I said, I won't be able to get any aspirin now. I'm not going to get any, actually, if it's if it's gastric. Aspirin's not good. You've got to be able to, to uh, distinguish which one it is. I, I mean, I have an aspirin once a month anyway. I think, I think. Not an ulcer, but I, I, I've probably had a few more beers than I would normally have. And it's not beers, it's... um wine and the, when I see Zara I usually have a glass of cider. Just one small glass. But it could be that my body from the past said Sheila. Remember why you cut down? Big time. Somebody coming, a runner. I don't know if he's coming this way. I'll let him pass. He might have stopped now. He's going somewhere. Yeah, he's coming this way. Right, over and out a minute. Going along a bit more of the lane. Got plenty of time. There's no panic. No need to rush. Jogger just passed me a minute ago. Right, last battery change of the day. Full battery. It's been charged up while I've been going along. Okay, I carry three batteries on a day out. It sort of lasts. They're quite old batteries now, so they don't do as much as they used to. They don't last as long. They used to last. One battery used to last me all day, for example. Now they, they're old. Like the cameras. They're old. But they do seem to... I rotate them. I put one back on charge now. And... Uh, this will be the last part. I'm just, I've just said that I've having a lovely gentle walk back. Oh, look at that. Everything like this reminds me of my childhood, really. Hedgerows and plants, lichens. Look at that. That's a sign of pure air. When you see lichens like this, I did a lichen study when I was doing some course years ago and we I went up on the Quantox I went to different parts of Bridgewater and I zoned it all yeah yeah I did a lot actually but all that got thrown out all that work I did I threw a lot of stuff out actually I should have never thrown out I did some lovely studies so never mind people will probably throw all my stuff out I got now it's about uh, I don't know what will happen I've done a lot of work on my family. I mean, the digital stuff should be safe. Um, the files are quite good, some of them are quite detailed, but they do need care for and updating. You know, sometimes you need to reprint something because it's fading and things like that. There's a lot of work went in there, a lot of work. There's some stuff in those folders that you can't get anymore, you've got to pay a lot of money for. That's the other thing some of my work in the early days before everybody started wanting to do their tree right in the early days things were cheap I paid hardly anything to belong to Ancestry in, in the early days and I used to belong to Latter-day Saints which is still free isn't that a lovely view when you come round like that 
Look at that, you've got um, Crook's Peak right there, still, still with us all day. One of the Guardians on sentry duty. Crook's Peak, and you've got the Bendit Hills, Cheddar and Axbridge Reservoir. Yeah, so only going back to stuff, yeah, I used to... I've got a lot of stuff in my folders that... Um, little bookless leaflets. You know, things that might you might never get again. I've looked after it all. I, really, I just need someone else to be the guardian for the future. It's all that work. I'm sure some American would pay me a load of money for it all. To be quite honest, there's a lot of work in there. Lots on my mum and my dad's side, so it would be, it, in theory, it could be split by that, like that. But basically, families sometimes meet up. I mean, for example, me and my husband are connected back in time to the Isaacsons of Swaff and Bullbeck, and even people that at, at Borough Green, Starlings and Frosts and people. Yes, it's a small world. I've just recently found another connection for Georgia and Harry. They share a great-grandfather back in time. Via Georgia's great-nan Kay. And um, Harry, it's on Harry's mother's side. So, things can. That's why I always do a lot of lateral work as well. I've got a feeling there's a quarry in there, you know. I'll have to go back in there another time and do a bit more roaming. Yeah, I must go back in there at some point. Have a little afternoon over here, just exploring in there. That lovely, that, these oaks, aren't they gorgeous? Keeping their lovely yellow, ambery, yellowy colour. Hanging on in there to the last minute. Photosynthesising. Beautiful, aren't they? Really beautiful you are, Oak. My little Oak didn't, didn't survive what I had. He got some sort of mould. Uh, that was the end of him. If I could have put him in the garden earlier, I think he would have been alright. I was upset, actually. He'd done so well. He's looking so good. Now here we are, back to the lime kiln again. Anyone who saw my... What, I don't know if I shared that video or not. Um... But over here we've got the lime kiln, look, see? Actually a shelter if it was pouring with rain. I don't know if it leaks on the top. But um, if it started bucketing down, yeah, yeah, of course you'd go in there. There's a path that leads up through the quarry there as well. I'm sure it's a quarry. There's something in there anyway. It might have been tied up with the mining industry in the past. They never put many warnings up about cows, do they? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Cows are big. God, you know, I'm really enjoying this walk. I've so looked forward to coming out. I've so looked forward to coming out over here. God, I mean, I almost feel like Cheddar's my home in a way. Although I wouldn't want to live all down those estates, no. I like where I am near the sea. I've got the woods nearby, I've got the beach, I've got uphill, I'm near all the services if I need them, buses, trains, coaches, yeah, but I still, I've, I've just been given my driving licence, they've renewed it, can't drive four ton lorries anymore, but I don't really care, um, <clears throat> because it's my age. But, I'm still thinking, within the, I've, re, I've got sisters who are driving in their 80s, so it's nothing really to do with age. But I could do with a car for a couple of years, so I can do some more family tree exploring, and go camping. But I need a car, really. I know I can't carry all that stuff around. I've seen people, young people struggling. 
I could probably do a short weekend with hard, with where I wouldn't have to carry a lot and just live on fish and chips if I was near a, a, a village. It's, uh, the, the problem with this country is it can be lovely like this and tomorrow could be a storm. So, you know, if you've only got your tent and no vehicle and you get wet, yeah, I'm hoping to pick up a little vehicle. You know, just just even if it only lasts me six months, I really need to do some exploring. I really do. I don't. I can't really afford one. Really, it would just be a for a short while. I couldn't. I can't really afford a car. Not anymore. BT's costing me enough. Oh. Yeah. BT scars and I got a mobile and it's costing me whereas I used to put about 10 10 20 pound a year in I put in 10 pound a month now they charge me 8 pound actually just to have a mobile with them so I can go on the net and that but I don't really use a mobile I only really want a small mobile do you know what I mean but I've got all my Covid pass and all that on it now. You know, it's handy sometimes. It takes ages though, some of the stuff to get hold of it. To find out with the buses, it can take forever. I haven't had my cheese and tomato. Might in a minute. Might stop down here in a minute. Let's have a look. Let's just check the time. Right. We've got just under an hour to kill everyone. It's 3.28 and the bus doesn't come till 20 past the hour. Okay, turn off for a minute. Turn that off. Lovely day, isn't it? Yeah, I did. I've been waiting three weeks to get out. We do. I need. I. I walk a lot. I don't. I don't know what's happening with the weather anymore.